everybody, my name is Hope Blank. I'm a speech language pathologist here at the Hearing and Speech Center. And today I wanted to share with you guys a little activity that you can do. And so baking is a fun activity for everybody to make a sweet treat. Um, you can obviously make a lot of things, brownies, cookies, cakes. So really there's a lot of things you can do with it, but it's a great way to incorporate speech and language goals into just an everyday activity. So a lot of times you have ingredients, you have utensils, so this is a great way to work on vocabulary. You can work on labeling, so you have a whisk or a spoon or a bowl or a pot, an egg, if you're using oil or milk or water. It's a great way to just work on expanding language, so a little white egg, just kind of taking what your child is already saying and adding words to it um, and just modeling that. Modeling language is so important for speech and language, and so we want to encourage that as much as possible. Also, with banking, following directions is a big um, language goal that we often target in therapy, and so um, Depending on your kid's age and their level, you can either simplify it or you can make it a little more challenging with a two-step direction. So put the egg in one cup in the bowl or you can simplify it, um, do one scoop of you know the mix. So you can kind of vary it based on your child's level. Um, and obviously, sometimes they might need a little assistance with that, but again, you can work on our tick goals as well. If you're working on K or G, bake or cookie, um, egg. So there's a lot of different ways that you can incorporate baking um, along with your child's speech and language goals. And obviously your child's therapist will want to help encourage you as, as any way they can possible. And so, um, yeah, I would just encourage you guys to try this out at home. I hope it works out great.